in this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. We're going to cover the integration constant. Now if you recall from the derivatives rule lecture, we stated that if you take the antiderivative or integral of f of x, it's going to equal uh, whatever the integral is plus the integra an integration constant c. And this is really, really important. As we showed before, if you take the derivative of x squared, you would get 2x. But if you took the derivative of x squared plus 1, you would also get 2x. So it follows that if you take the integral of 2x, you have to get an answer that would both equal, um, and mistake there, x squared, and it would also have to equal x squared plus 1, x squared plus 4, or whatever this is. If, you know, this is x squared plus 4, so it equals 2x. So the way we do that is by adding the constant c. And that just tells people that this is a value somewhere between negative infinity and infinity. It could be an integer, whatever, square root, doesn't matter. When you take the derivative of c, it equals 0. So this is a matter of self-consistency. Now, there's an issue with this, and uh, beginners make it, so that's why I'm doing a whole lecture on this. It may seem very obvious, but we're going to get out of the way just to be safe. Uh, remember, we also said that you could split up two different integrals. So if you have the integral of f of x and g of x, you could take that as the integral of f of x dx and the integral of g of x dx. Now let's do this. Integral of f of x dx equals f of x plus c, capital F of x plus c. By the way, um, if you're going from a lowercase to an uppercase, this usually means the integral of the lowercase, or the lowercase would be the derivative of the uppercase. That's a very common notation. I probably should have pointed that out sooner. All right, but anyways, moving on. Now we'll also do the integral of g of x dx, and that'll give us g of x plus c. We're going to do this c1, c2. Following our formula here, we can add it together. And that would give us an answer of f of x plus g of x plus c1 C plus c2. But if we had uh, evaluated this as one integral, we would have just gotten f of x plus g of x and only one c. We wouldn't have gotten two c's. So that's uh, where the common mistake comes in. Notice, however, these are both constants. We can add those together. c equals c1 plus c2. And that's what we do. And that gives us a consistent answer with both sides of these integrals. Now they're both, in this equation here, they're both equal. Now it's important that we do this, and let me point out why. Let's take the integral of 2x plus x squared dx. We're going to split that into two different integrals. 2x dx plus x squared dx. And we're going to evaluate that. That's going to equal x squared plus 1 third x to the third plus c1 plus c2. And like we pointed out before, we combine those two. x squared plus 1 third x to the third plus c. Now let's see why we combine those two. Let's say we needed to take another integral. I'm going to do the double integral. So now we're going to be integrating this equation and this equation. We have to make sure that they equal. So let's start with this one first. 
that's going to give us one third x to the third for this term plus one twelfth x to the fourth for this term plus c one x plus c two x plus another integration constant d I'll go to a different color now and we'll do this integral 1 3rd x to the 3rd plus 1 12th x to the 12th plus cx plus an integration constant d. This part and this part are all completely the same. The only difference lies in in this right here. This is noticeably more complicated, unnecessarily more complicated, but just the same way we can combine C1 and C2. C1 x plus C2 x can very easily equal C of x. And the reason is, is this is just a number, this is a number, and this is a number that combines the two of them. So no problem. So complete your integral, then add your uh, integration constants. It's easier. You can do the separate integrals with two constants and then add it in and it can uh, combine them at the end if you like, but it's usually just easier to do the whole integral than add the constant. It's consistent one way or the other. Hope this was